Hello, hello everyone. Um, not not a lot of people made it today at this time, but yeah, everyone watching the replay, you are so welcome to to be in this space, and you are with us, and your energy is with us right now. So yeah, today we we are going to be talking about period painting. So this is a period painting masterclass. I'm super excited to have you here. And yeah, this is going to be very, um, very informal, very laid back. And you are welcome to even watching the replay. You can uh, comment down below with some questions, some insights or um, yeah, anything you feel like commenting about, you can, you can do it and share your experience with us. Um, this will take around one hour more or less but sometimes you know we start talking and i might get a little lost here and there and yeah it will depend also on how many how many questions uh, we have um and yeah i will start before before i kind of dive into the main the main thing i would like to share uh, a little a little story and this story is about when i first got my period so I was like uh, 14, I think I was 14 years old and all my, my friends, you know, had already their, their periods back then. I was like almost the only one. Um, so I was feeling a little bit, you know, pressured. Um, late, I was like, oh my God, what is happening? Something is wrong. But yeah, at the same time, I was like, yeah, no problem. Just chilling, no worries. And then when, when it happened, uh, my family was like you know people get happy i don't know about your experiences but people are like oh my god yeah she's a woman now and yeah oh my god that's so great that's super nice and everything and well i was a little bit hmm. uh, yeah i guess it's a good thing i was yeah i think it's normal for 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 us to not know um not know to just not know and yeah okay yeah and as we don't have that kind of um, initiation uh, from, from being a teenager to being a woman, it can be, yeah, it's kind of, okay, now uh, out of nowhere, I'm supposed to be a woman, I'm supposed to behave like a woman, and what is that, what, what does that mean? And yeah, there is a lot. There, there is a lot we can uh, discuss here and this whole team, there's so much we can talk about and that's why sometimes I kind of get lost because it's really, um, it's really broad. Uh, but yeah, and then, so people were cheering on me and at the same time, they were like, oh, okay, but now you have to hide. You have to hide your period. Nobody can see your blood, so make sure you hide it uh make sure you do this and that okay in the toilet don't like nobody can see your blood anywhere uh, especially men and you can talk about it so sometimes i would mention it like super lightly uh uh in conversations and if my mother was around she was like Shh, don't, don't say anything so it was like this you know very weird thing and i think it has um so many so many repercussions in our life and we don't even realize how much and i think even today now i am aware of of some things but sometimes i'm like okay yeah maybe this is still impacting me and i think it did impact my relationship with my father and i, I think it still does because i was like oh yeah i can't you know I am supposed to hide myself. I'm supposed to yeah, hiding my blood is like I didn't understand why, but it's like I need to hide my body. I need to hide my my truth. I need to hide my nature. I can't express myself because this is something so natural. And for me, it's like a way of yeah, it's 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 part of our nature. It's part of our essence as women. And women are women and the feminine energy is basically um, this energy of uh, full expression and creation so when we are 
told to hide our blood, we are basically being told to hide all of what we are because this is part of what we are. And, and yes, yeah, so when I started later on, when I started painting with, with my period, I was like, um, yeah, it, it made me go back in time. Like, yeah, actually, I, maybe I don't need to hide. I also don't need to go to, 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 to grab the paper and be like, okay, this is my plea in, in front of people's faces. I don't need to go like a rebel and, oh my God, this is it, see. No, it's not about that, but it's like, uh, it made me feel like, yeah, but why do I need to hide? Why do I need to hide my expression? Maybe, maybe I don't. And I think um, also we live in, a, we live in a world of uh, tremendous separation when we mention separation uh, um, spiritually uh, mostly um, we we mean yes yeah, separation from our divinity separation from our truth separation between the masculine and the feminine energy and this is so i think i think part of that separation is created just there and we separate our blood and our womb and our uh, yoni, our vagina. We separate it from us. And how can we separate something that is part of us? Something that, how can we separate the, the organs that are responsible for uh, continuing this process of human humanness how can we we separate that from us we came from there life is generated there how can we separate these things so i think this is a major um, major start for for separation early on our lives and yeah and i like to i always like to go back to it's all it's 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 also this separation of life and death as if as if we could separate them it, and we tend to associate blood with that uh, with um, pain suffering you know people being stabbed people being killed in wars people there is blood there is there is tremendous amount of blood and we we uh, have these images of violence and and there is there has been so much war going on in the past and we feel it in our blood we feel it in our skin we have this this uh, energy from our ancestors and from past lives and sometimes it's in us it's in us this suffering maybe we we have been in wars or maybe some of us were killed uh, because we were called witches and we were just women with tremendous amount of wisdom, like everyone. And yeah, we were healers. And so this is this can be very present in our body. And it's something very difficult to deal with. The, this death. death is something that we don't like to face. And I think uh, in my perspective, uh, the painting paint, painting with our blood and having a different perspective about our periods it, it's also about death because period happens when there is when when this egg dies but what happens after okay we can create uh, we we generate another egg so and and, and another egg and another egg and so on and there is always this cycle and we don't even think about it we just go on yeah we live our lives i know some people have tremendous pain around period and it's uh, it can be uh, it can it can be very very bad and but yeah we go on it's like okay there is death and then there is life again and death and life and death and life like that just like that and how amazing is that we can actually create we can actually create the uh yeah yeah please yeah i just want to 
ask uh, ask now I, I just want to say something um Please. for example you were talking about uh, connection with death and blood and i just want to say something really funny that is when i first had my first period i almost faint <laughs> i got sick yeah mm -hmm. because of that um because i was not prepared at mm -hmm. all and i saw the blood and uh, i was just i started like fainting <laughs> like mm -hmm. it was just so bizarre i just called my mom like scared i was just so scared i was screaming like it was awful mm -hmm. but in fact it's something very beautiful and yeah i don't know why it's, it, it is connected to pain and suffer mm -hmm. um although we have pain during the period right but um, yeah that's it I just wanted. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Please uh, do it more often if you if you want to. You are so welcome. Thank Cheers. you. Uh, and yeah, there is there is exactly. We don't have this initiation. We don't want to face death. We don't want to face these things. So we are like uh, a little bit. It can it can be shaky. And yeah, also something that is very interesting that you actually mentioned is the fact that, and when I first got my period, I remember I was like in pain, I had discomfort in my body and I was feeling a little bit weird. And my mother told me, okay, we, we live in the countryside. Uh, so we have trees and stuff and we do work outside. And so my mother said, okay, now you go outside and you do this and that outside like, uh, physical work outside so you see how women have to suffer mm. and this is this is what we see no you are a woman you have to suffer because you have your period you, you have to suffer and what if what 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 if we don't what what if we can what if we can actually look forward to having our periods and this is something that i um, I would like to share and this is one of the reasons why I'm here because now I every time every time I have my period is like oh I'm celebrating and it's like okay yeah now it's time to paint uh, not always if I don't feel like doing it I don't do it but it's uh, something that I'm like yeah yeah okay uh, I'm having my period now and it's super soft because I've been yeah I've been doing some some work and I pay a lot of attention to my health but it's something so soft and when we are connected, it can be really beautiful and we can move with it instead of uh, maybe against it. And it can be so empowering uh, in our lives. And we can actually adjust our lives according to our cycle and maybe rest a little bit more. And it's, it can be really, really amazing. So it doesn't have to be that, yeah, now you're a woman, you have to, to suffer, you need to go through through pain and yeah so this is very thank you for sharing that it just came came to my mind um and i was i was speaking about this life and death and uh some some time ago some months ago quite recently i think this goes in all areas of our lives like i i went through a period of complete darkness complete like i felt dead inside i was completely desperate i was very very depressive um and it was like the second time in one year and i was like man i can't do this again like I, how am i going to to go through this this time i can do it another time not in such a short period of time um it was being very challenging and I was really, I felt like I was dying inside and nothing was working. Nothing was, nothing of, not, there was no tool that I used to have that, that would help me before. Nothing of those tools were working. Like no, no yoga, no meditation or anything. Yeah, you start, you start lo losing the strength. Like yeah, to yeah. Forward, yeah. Totally. And, and then I was like, okay, I think there was this moment where I thought, yeah, if I, if I actually paint with my period, which, he, which comes from the death of an egg, 
and I actually enjoy it and I can make uh, beautiful things with it, can I trust? Can I trust that out of this whole uh, darkness and that that I feel inside, can I trust that something will flourish? Can I trust, can I create something from here? Can I trust that something will be created? Can I trust that something will actually bloom from this space of, of complete like void and complete confusion and, and death inside? That was literally how, how I was feeling. And maybe you can, you can relate. I think at some point we all kind of feel that way sooner or later in our lives. And mm -hmm. And yeah, I think it was it was quite helpful to 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 see it that way, and it, I think it's a it's a it's a learning and it's a lesson for life that yeah things you know can we trust the cycles can we trust the cycles and how things move naturally um, and yeah I just really wanted to to share that and. Sometimes, yeah, 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 please, please. Sometimes we don't know like the answer. We don't know if we can trust or not. We just challenge ourselves or we don't see any other option. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, you know, when you spoke about uh, having a bad time and just see nothing else but darkness and stuff, uh, I'll share one story as well if you, mm -hmm. if you want, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so when I start um, a process of uh, spiritual uh, awakeness, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. awakening, yeah, 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 awakening spiritually. Mm -hmm. So I also um, structure that with draws, and so some of them are here. Can you see in the background? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these were during this process. I can show you. I don't know if I will take your time, but <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Go, we have time. Just, yeah, I just think it's it's quite interesting to look at. I'll just need to turn the light on because it was during the process, and it helped me a lot. It helped me make sense. I don't know why why this still raising my hand, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still. Wait. Yeah, no problem. Can you see this? By sh yeah, I I just took it off. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like, I cannot mm -hmm. focus like properly, but for example, this one. Mm -hmm. I start like making this eye without understanding the purpose of it or the meaning. Mm -hmm. And it just, yeah, it just made sense in the afterwards. So this one was like my view from my room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you see like the pain? And yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's quite yeah and i have other one there yeah so yeah i think uh painting as well and drawing helped me a lot as well mm -hmm. during this process mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah okay you cannot see see it perfectly but yeah but <laughs> i tried i tried yeah. my best <laughs> yeah 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 no thanks for sharing yes definitely I think expressing ourselves uh, in these moments and if we need to scream, we scream and if we need to, to you know, letting ourselves uh, express what's inside, it's so important so we can actually... Sometimes people don't understand what you're feeling. And yeah. You don't see any other way than to express it by art. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They will, they will call you crazy because mm -hmm. you are seeing something that they are not seeing or not prepared to see mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah 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 and and actually um when we tap into that when we allow ourselves to express uh what's inside through art for example it's we are connecting to our to our inner inner self yeah inner self yeah. to our to our essence because we are we are creative beings as uh, as we mentioned before and we cannot separate even though we separate it a lot and we think oh no no um i'm not i'm not an artist in my in my opinion we are all artists because it's our it, that's in our in our um nature and 
and yeah there is this there is even this sentence i really like from the the artist's way book and it's like oh exactly i like this one the refusal to be creative is self-will and is counter to our true nature so yeah we are we are creative maybe we don't express it through painting or anything but yeah it's it's really in our nature um mm -mm. There is another one I really like. Let me see. We are ourselves creations and we in turn are meant to continue creativity by being creative ourselves. So yeah, it's like this, this all uh, energy, this all creation flow and it's basically the flow of life so yeah i think it definitely connects connects us back to to ourselves and back to to our divinity when we are creative it's coming from within it's actually coming from within and when we um, actually paint with our blood it's like coming from within times two so yeah. this is how i see it so we are tapping into our creative energy and power which is which is within it's like our soul our high, higher self and we are actually using ink that is from within so mm -hmm. i think it makes it even more powerful and we can we we literally uh, feel this this energy and we feel uh, more liveness aliveness in ourselves and we can feel much more energy this is my experience um but yeah I've, I've, of course i i encourage you to try for for yourselves and and then share share with us how you feel during the process and also welcome all the feelings because at first for for if you haven't uh tried it before it can be yeah it, it's feelings will will maybe come up feelings might come up uh maybe you will feel even discomfort and be present with all those feelings and uh, see if you can understand why they are there and what they are showing you and yeah it's uh, welcome them all and be present with them and then from there like explore it explore it this is all an exploration there's no there's, there's no right or wrong way to do it um, and yeah i like to to go back always i have this thing in life i i really look at things from a perspective from an ancient perspective i would say at many things uh i always wonder how things were many years ago and i have a very strong connection to to like medieval medieval things or something and i think yeah most likely my soul lived there of course but yeah i feel very connected to to things from ages and ages ago uh old very old things so i i started wondering okay yeah maybe um you know when people would do cave cave paintings or rock rock paintings they well they would do they would use what they had materials they had so they would use pigments they would use uh, blood they would use you know they they would find a way of of making some kind of ink and to paint we don't know i was doing some some research on, on this we don't know exactly what was their intention what was their motivation to paint those paintings and there are actually not so much research on uh, or about painting with blood so there is not there is not so much it's still quite a mystery i do believe i do believe they would uh paint with blood almost for sure i think it was something quite quite natural but yeah we don't know we don't know and this is quite of a mystery but i like to think so that you know i think i always imagine them with a super um easy it's, a, it's scientifically proved that they use the animal's blood so it is, yeah it is it yeah is. because you see many paintings they kill the animals and they use the blood to draw mm -hmm. the way they were uh, hunting them and stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah yeah exactly there are not 
I, I thought I would find more about painting with blood, but yeah, I remember in school, I do remember uh, teachers mentioning that they would use blood and even egg, egg yolk and eggs, eggs mm -hmm. to make the, 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 the mixtures and, and stuff like that. So it's actually quite, quite natural uh to to use blood as painting of course yeah it's not maybe not everyone will will want to do it um but yeah I, I like to go back and actually i would like to share because i have some pictures here let me see oh it's here i will i will share my screen yeah uh how do ah okay i like these ones yeah like I was doing some little, this was not with blood probably, but we don't know, yeah. But there are some red ones, really interesting. And I really, I, I really find this interesting. And what was interesting is also the mm -hmm. fact that back, back in this time, women, women, women were like the goddesses. There was no, there was no uh, priest. There was no church, so to say, and they would honor uh, the the women as goddesses and uh, it would be a matriarchal society instead of a patriarchal society uh, which is the one that we have uh, today mostly and yeah it's very interesting to look at that um what else do i've got here oh yeah what do you okay. think they are holding there because they're the fat one. Oh yeah, the fat one is an animal, all right. But the the other one is one. Red, what are they holding though? What do you think? So it, uh, is? it seems like there is. It's kind of a branch, but it looks like kind of a cross. It looks like something spiritual, isn't it? Yes, yes. Like they are yeah. spiritually thanking something. Yes, yeah, 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 definitely. I would say mm -hmm. so. And I think they were very, very spiritual. Uh, I think they were very connected because they were in, in such a close connection with Mother Earth, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I, I believe in many, many tribes around the world. Uh, yeah, that's where we find most of, uh, we, we find a lot of rituals and people are so much connected to Mother Earth and to all these... Uh, yeah, without the uh, outside noise. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to share this. And now... in um, Yeah, okay. I would like to actually um, tell you how you can paint with your uh, menstrual blood. So I'm not, we are not going to be painting like live here right now, but it's like super simple. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to kind of start this process yourself. So first, uh, you will need uh, to collect your blood. So I use this menstrual cup, but yeah, I think other people use, uh, there is a similar, similar, similar one. Yeah, but it's mm -hmm. not the menstrual cup. I don't remember the name, but yeah. You can use whatever means you, you use to collect your blood and uh, you can store it in a small container. This one is not plastic, but you can start with plastic. You can basically start with, with the materials you got at home. And my advice is that you have a top, like a container with a top, because if you want to store it for later, it's much better to have it uh, so you can cover, you can cover it and, and store your blood for later. Um, then you will need uh, some water and you will need brushes. I like to use uh, watercolor, watercolor brushes, but you can use any, any, any brushes that maybe if you don't have watercolor ones, you can start with a normal one bigger, smaller, you can just try for yourself, explore. There is no, there is no limit. Right or wrong. Uh, yeah. yeah, there is no right or wrong. And the, the intention is like, yeah, don't limit yourself and just try it out. And then you will start to feel, okay, I prefer to paint with this or this and this way and this way. It's really an exploration process. And about the paper. Uh, I prefer to use um, 
watercolor paper because it's thicker and it's it's better for for painting with uh, like things that have water like leak, more liquid uh, materials but you can start with normal normal paper i i have i have i have tried in normal paper as well and yeah this is like normal paper of course it will not be so consistent or as consistent as in watercolor paper but yeah you can give you give it a go and then um, yeah see for yourself what you cool. prefer <laughs> hmm? it's quite cool then. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this paper i like i love this paper i don't know the name of this paper but it's not normal paper it's a little bit thicker uh it's really really super cool and yeah i don't know the name i should i should ask the person who gave me this but yeah it's really really nice nice paper um yeah but you you try and you explore for yourself and you will find your 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 way your your specific way and it's always a continuous process of exploration um oh and yeah the, it's quite useful to keep uh, like a cloth uh, next to you just like this is like painting with watercolor mm -hmm. basically it's the same thing i i barely i barely use water to be honest uh but yeah it's good to clean clean up the the brushes or maybe you want to try and you want to have a some more lighter uh, a lighter yeah, color do different tones yeah li different tones and you can try it out but it's basically like painting with watercolor and yeah i would i i would like to show you these um paintings so i was searching i was searching for people i was looking up uh how it started, the origin, who started painting with period, or is there something about this or not? And it's quite recent, it's quite recent. Uh, it's mainly from, it started like in the seventies. Uh, it was brought up by a feminist and, and yeah, but she was not, she was not painting with blood specifically. She was uh, making some type of, menstrual art which is like sometimes not painting with blood it's like okay people make these installations or sculptures with tampoons or something to raise uh, raise awareness about this this team because it's so taboo and there's so much to it uh, but there is this lady she's called judy chicago and, and she was the first one at least um, as much as i could find something about it she was like the first feminist person woman um, doing some kind of menstrual art and then there was this one i found this one i really want to show you because it's really nice uh, let's see mm. no Oops. no Sorry, I'm <laughs> really looking for it. <laughs> oh, it's here. This woman. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah, it's so amazing. Uh, she, uh, Jasmine, Jasmine Alicia Carter, she's 29. And yeah, she makes these amazing, gorgeous blood paintings. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's really, really amazing. That's impressive. And I wanted to show you this because it's like, wow. And yes, yeah, she she talks about her, her you know her, her journey. She says, "Yeah, I wish for my art to inspire as many women as possible to come back closer to themselves and to feel exactly what I feel, because in my helpless, optimistic heart, I believe it can change the world." She's from Barcelona, yeah. Wow. And if you go here, there is a you can read a little bit more about her about her paintings, but it's really, really, really cool. And we can see like it's very uh, yeah it's very connected it's very connected and it's it's really nice the tones and everything so I just wanted to 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 share to give us a little bit of inspiration because it yeah it can be so many things we can do as much as with any type of painting and it's really cool once we start exploring it because 
uh, I think uh, uh, sometimes I, I'm like, wow, when I paint something, there is actually like a, a, a glitter to it, you know, but it's natural. So it's like, it's, it's like really cool. It's, it's really, really cool. And it's also a way of us keeping in track of our, of our uh, health because the color of, of our menstrual blood can tell us if there's something wrong. If it's, uh, if it's very dark, maybe it's lack of calcium or if it's very light it's a lack of something else so it's it's cool that we we get to observe um, our blood and maybe yeah it can be a, a a tool also for our health and for us to keep uh, keeping track with with our with ourselves and with our health and yeah it's yeah Basically, wow. I wanted to show you. it's really cool. I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we can always try and mix materials. Um, yeah, no need to, to, there's no need to limit ourselves and we can try as many things as we want, as always, as, as in life, just like in life. Um, what else? Uh, let me check my notes. Yeah. And basically, as, as uh, this woman said, as yeah, she said, it's a way of coming back to ourselves. And I totally agree. It's a way of um, coming back to this connection. It's a way of connecting to our sacred blood, to our womb, because our womb is like the start of everything. And sometimes there is so much energy we we accumulate and there's so much stuck energy there and i feel it's also a way to to get it moving get it moving and to be more in touch with our center as women it's very important to be in touch to be connected with our womb with our pelvic floor and yeah it's a way of self expression and also of self accept acceptance and of loving ourselves a little bit more and building a, a very healthy connection towards our, ourselves. As, and at the same time, we are exploring our creativity and it kind of opens up our minds to new possibilities. Even in life, uh, we can, we can you know, take it to our life then because it, it can help us open new possibilities, new areas of the brain are being transformed and it can help us actually move forward and be more creative in our lives and maybe come up with, with solutions. And it's this knowing that, yeah, we actually got everything. We even got our own ink. So yeah, if I wanna make art, I got no pencils, I got nothing. Well, I got, I got one. <laughs> We are a powerful source. <laughs> exactly. We are yeah, so powerful. Yeah. We are, we are so powerful. We are so powerful that we can create like another, we can generate another being. Yeah, exactly. Life. Exactly. How powerful is that? Exactly. And I think it's so powerful, this, this, all these. So um, these are just some aspects. We could go very into this um, more specifically. This is, this masterclass is a little bit broad and um, I deeply encourage you um, to, to, to try it out, try it out for yourself, see for yourself. And if you want to, uh, you are so welcome to share on your Instagram, share your paintings uh, under the hashtag my period art journey. So we can also check each other uh, check what's what we are painting or not and you can check there are some 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 paintings already under this hashtag so you are so welcome to do it and i would love to have a look uh, at your at your journey and yeah share your journey with with us um and yeah now it's uh, i think i have covered all the things that I would like to cover. So uh, are there any questions? Now it's like Q&A, Q&A time. <laughs> if there is something, if there is something, now is basically the time to, to bring it up. Do you like- I don't like have any ask? specific questions, to be honest. Um, I made my points when I had to ask something. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right i really okay. appreciate yeah all the what you did the master class and all the information you shared with me and mm -hmm. your experiences i am thankful for that awesome. awesome and it was lovely meeting you as well because we we don't know each other so yeah yeah, yeah it's quite funny isn't it? <laughs> yeah yeah i think this is awesome because yeah also by sharing uh, under this hashtag for example we can kind of uh, connect with other people and I've seen people reaching out to me because of of this actually mm -hmm. and it's really interesting um, because I love to meet people from all over the place I'm like I'm super hyped when I meet new people and <laughs> I think it's so important to to feel this kind of sisterhood and this kind of uh, connections so um, yeah uh, everyone watching the replay yeah please feel free to to um, share your your paintings your experiences under this hashtag uh, my period art journey on instagram or on when in whatever <laughs> whatever whenever wherever you want to share it you can share it in the social media that's yeah it. exactly exactly <laughs> so now um okay we have no questions uh, so i would like to talk uh, about one last thing for for those who would like to go on a little who would like to go a little deeper on this journey i created something very special i'm gonna share my screen again so you can see it okay where is it i think it's oops no what, what have i done it's oh, like the um, painting with blood is almost like painting with coffee i don't know if you ever did. oh yes 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 yeah i i tried it but i didn't manage to do well <laughs> <laughs> but i gave it a try <laughs> yeah yeah it's no, a but process it might be quite similar yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i think i think so yes and no yeah but i have i don't yeah, know not the experience it. itself i'm saying yeah, like yeah. The, the text the idea the material yeah. yeah 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 it might be a little bit similar but it also will depend on on each other's blood and i know it's different sometimes it's more fluid sometimes it's it's not so it can that also can can change but yeah you're you're right so i've created um this uh period art exploration journey which is a seven day journey to painting with blood. And I will give you the link for, for this so you can, you can explore it. And it's like a little program. It's a seven day program uh, that goes a little bit more in depth about uh, painting with blood and yeah, exploring this world. So basically it's for you if you feel and if you feel stuck and blocked in your creativity, if you feel lack of inspiration, if you are actually curious about this, if you would like to have a different approach to your blood, if you feel this, this uh, will to connect to yourself, connect to your womb and to your body and to, to your feminine energy, and to actually feel more empowered in that. And what is what is special about this, this thing? So you can, this is a seven day program, but you can actually do it. It's meant to be done one day after the other for seven days straight, but you can do it at your own pace. So you can do it whenever you have your period or whenever you have your blood available to you. Uh, obviously so yeah there's no there's no specific time to to okay we start on this day no you can start when you want according to your menstruation according to your cycle but then the invitation is to do it uh, seven days straight it's very simple each day we have some prompts some prompts for um, for a painting and for a little reflection and on each day we we have also a telegram group a telegram community where we share uh, our journey and where you can reach out to, to to me and ask some some questions we share what's going on with us what how is this journey going for us and there 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 will be uh, an online gathering 
on the 15th of March. So for all the people who have done this journey until uh, the 15th of March, we will gather and share our experiences, maybe have a little, uh, a little practice, uh, a little meditation, and yeah, just basically share, share with like-minded women um, and be in, a, in this container and meet each other and see each other. Uh, and this is an opportunity to, to um, develop, develop your creative skills in an in a easy, uh, creative way, in a different way, uh, as at the same time as you connect to yourself and connect to your uh, sacred, sacred blood and your, your body and your divinity. Um, so this is a little um, look at the curriculum of this journey. There, are, there is the first day for basically preparation and where we set an intention. And the last day is uh, a day for re reflection basically. And then for each day, we are going to use one of the elements. So the element, each element will be a prompt for that day. Day one is water, uh, then uh, no, day one is earth, then water, fire, air, and ether. And this is, so the, the earth is basically the first. So this has like a structure. The first, the first thing is really earth, and then the water came, and then the fire, and blah, blah, blah. So this is, uh, you don't need to be in nature. You don't need to be in nature to, to make this, to, to go through this journey, because there is always, um, we will use this energy, the energy of this element. And even if you are in a city and you don't have direct access to these elements, especially earth and soil, you can still do it. And you will see why, because I will explain it. I explain it in, in each, in each day and but because uh, the uk is just blocks <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and but there's always the this is our this is also part of being creative okay maybe i can't go outside i don't have soil but maybe i have a little plant in my house or maybe i have a piece of paper how can this piece of paper actually be soil or be earth um, it's it's a continuous uh, things that represent earth. exactly. Like, for yeah. example, crystals. I also have crystals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, crystals, rocks, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's it's uh, quite uh, yeah. You can do it wherever uh, you are. This is a little bit about me, and then you can check my information. And yeah, just some examples. And yeah, exactly. This is the end. So this is uh, this little journey is now available for twelve point five euros, and you can find it on my Instagram. No, this is not my Instagram. This is another woman who fights <laughs> with with blood. That's why she's here. <laughs> you can find this uh, if you click if you go on my Instagram and you click under my link tree uh, link on on my bio, you will find this page. And by clicking here, you will be directed. Oh, no, you will not. Something, <laughs> <laughs> something, something. You're almost doing. being directed to. <laughs> yeah, I know what is wrong. Yeah, but I will, I will make sure it is. I will correct it in just after this call. And, but you will be directed to this page uh, where you can actually see this information, see this little video of presentation and you can buy it down below um i wanted to show you something else let me see if i can do it okay yeah then for for everyone like there are other options so this is for people more into um, period painting and going into this journey then i have a free yoni steaming uh, q a call which is basically it's about yoni steaming which is an ancient practice uh, a natural gynecologic a natural the uh, natural gynecology practice and this is a 15 20 minutes uh, call 
where you can ask anything about Yoni's teaming and I will be super happy to, to help you and answer your questions and help you build this ritual for yourself at your home. And uh, then I have this session, womb wisdom session. In this session, we where you can click. When you click here, you will be directed to a page where you can book your call with me. Let me go back. Uh, the womb wisdom session here we tap into any uh, issue any uh, issue that you might be having at the moment specifically uh, related to your gyne gynecology problem something that you're you're facing at the moment or not mostly yes but it doesn't have to be uh, always very very specific and we look at it as holistically as possible, at your life as holistically as possible. So we come up with a natural solution for, uh, for you at the moment, something that makes sense for you uh, at this present moment and, and that will help you move forward and uh, into, a, into a healthier place if it's the, the case. And then the last one is only for my Portuguese speaking people. <laughs> Uh, and it's a, it's a course on Tantra um, and yeah, it's about power and feminine connection. It's in Portuguese, so uh, you can only do it if you understand written and spoken Portuguese. Um, and yeah, it's, it's about this Yoni steaming. Uh, it has got Yoni steaming practices, Yoni egg practices, and you can, it's about finding this, this power and this connection between your masculine and energy uh, and feminine energies. So this was just uh, yeah to show you what's here for you. And yeah, you can go on my Instagram and click on, on under the link. If you have got any questions, um, you can always reach out to me by Instagram. I'm just, oh yeah, I want this. There's, it's getting a little dark. Let me just turn on. Yeah. And yeah, the, this is what I wanted to, to tell you. I will be super happy for those who join the journey, either now or later on, or yeah, anything. And you can always go and share, uh, share your paintings, your experiences, your, your journeys, and stay around uh, because it's, uh, it's good to keep, uh, to keep connected, to stay connected. Um, and yeah, this is all uh, I wanted to share for today. Um, do you have any any specific question about anything? Not really. Se quiseres depois parar o recording, tu é que sabes, não? Ah, sim, sim. Yeah, yeah. Porque né, depois vai ficar aqui, este vai ficar tipo, what the hell? <laughs> ah, não, não, é tranquilo. Um, eu nem sei como é que isto depois se edita. Yeah, agora eles botaram aqui, eu estou para o chinês. <laughs> sorry, sorry, we were just, uh, this was just a little side thing because Jessica was asking me something in Portuguese. But yeah, so uh, for now, for now then it's a goodbye. Uh, I feel complete. And uh, so thank you all for, for being here make sure yeah write down in the comments below what you take from this uh, from this call and what are your insights and let's keep in touch see you see you there thank you so much <laughs>